we're going to be looking at now there are a couple of experiments that demonstrate and show us how myosin as it walks along the actin filament produces force. This first experiment demonstrates in which direction myosin moves along the actin filament. So I have mentioned it before briefly but now we're going to illustrate this point now through the experiment that says that myosin is what's known as a plus end directed motor protein. So if we look here on this figure what we're seeing in these reddish rods here is the actin filament and on the base here are the myosins. So we have the myosin head and some myosin neck region as well. So remember the myosin has a neck and a head region. The myosin head contains the actin binding site as well as an ATP binding site. So the way this experiment was set up is that we took myosin heads and necks and laid them down on a glass slide. Then we overlaid on top of the myosin actin filaments. And now by doing that and then adding ATP, which again is the energy source required for the myosin to move, we see that we trigger the cross bridge cycle. So what happens is that as the myosin goes through the cross bridge cycle, it is moving towards the positive, but it pushes or pulls on the actin filament such that it moves in the minus direction. So it might be better illustrated with this one here, which is more straight. So again, here's your myosins interacting with the actin filament. And then what we see is that the myosin head is going to be going through the cross bridge cycle so the myosin moves onto the minus towards the plus direction. So what we see is that the myosin, as it goes through the cross bridge cycle, binds to the binds towards the plus end and walks towards the plus end. And when we cause that power stroke, when we lose the inorganic phosphate through the power stroke, we're going to push the actin filament in the minus direction. That's why the arrow is pointing this way because that is the way the filament is moving towards. So again, as the myosin head moves towards the positive, it will produce force, pushing the filament in the minus direction. Again, also shown on this picture then, are some actin filaments that have been labeled fluorescently. And if we look at them, if we try to follow any one of these, so if we try to follow number one, for example, what we see is that number one starts out up top here. Then in this middle picture, number one is in the middle between two and three. And then in the third picture, number one has moved towards the bottom of the picture. So this is again showing that as the myosin walks along the actin filament, it's producing force pushing the actin filament in different directions. So in this case, the actin filament is moving towards its minus direction because myosin is walking towards the plus Perfect. direction. We again are demonstrating this whole cross bridge cycle, so the myosin and actin interaction. But here, this particular experiment that we're going to illustrate now is going to actually try to show us and prove to us how much force does myosin actually have on actin during this cross bridge cycle? So again, how much force is produced every time myosin goes through the cross bridge cycle? So this is the setup of the experiment then. So what we have is an actin filament, and this actin filament is being held between two latex beads, one on this side and one on this side. These latex beads with the actin filament between them is actually being hovered just above another latex ball which is covered with myosin heads. Now the way that this actin filament is being hovered is through lasers. So these yellow beams here on either side are the lasers that are holding this actin filament just above this bigger latex bead, which again is decorated with myosin. 
So this latex bead with the mice and heads is attached again to a glass slide. And now what we're going to see is that when we activate the myosins with ATP to go through the crossbridge cycle where they interact with actin, the idea is to see how much force does it take to move one of these beads out of the laser. So these laser beams are tuned to a particular force and we want to see how much force it takes the myosin to move against the force that is holding the bead. So again we trigger the cross bridge cycle and as we can see here the actin filament is moving in this direction so that means that the myosin is walking and interacting through the cross bridge cycle to this side and every time it power strokes, it moves the filament this direction. So when that happens, we try to figure out how much force it takes to take out this bead from this laser. And as it turns out, it takes anywhere from 1 to 5 piconewtons of force to, re to pull out this bead. So that is how much force myosin produces on an active filament during the cross bridge cycle is one to five piconewtons.